from wherever you came from, your respective churches, from your obligations or duties on a Sunday evening. I don't believe you came uh, just to come, but you came because you need something from God. And we made, the church has made having a need from God so cliche. But I didn't come to give you cliches tonight. I came to give you a prophetic shift. That, that, that this is what you open your mouth right here. Yeah. He's only going to impart it to those that are hungry. Yeah. I think my ushers could be watching. We yeah. don't need 50 ushers or one person. We've got three designated prophets in the room. we got three designated prophetic voices in the room tonight. And so I need you to understand that, that you got to follow the voice of the prophet. We three have different administrations. So you gotta learn how to serve whoever God has at the forefront at the time. And so my brother is here from Wake Cross Apostle Walter. He's no stranger here. Prophet Brown is no stranger here. And so we wanna make sure we take advantage of this prophetic moment. I believe that there is a word God's gonna release in this house and in this moment. And I just want you to make sure you're ready for this. Last thing I want to tell you, my ushers, please make sure you're watching, because if not, you're not going to like me by the end of this night. Please make sure you're paying attention. Last thing I want to tell you, as we clean up, as we clean house, house rules, last thing I want to tell you is if you let anybody in this church cause you to miss your breakthrough, because yeah. you don't want to look crazy, yeah. you might as well go home now. Because the power of God is about to hit this house. So me and my brother has already agreed that cancer's liable to clear up. I wish I had a real church. Any sickness you got is liable to be healed right here. Whatever ailment, whatever be liver, me and my brother have already touched and agreed that by the time we got here, God was going to meet us here. So as we begin to shift one last time into the presence of God, I dare you to clap your hands and celebrate.
going to release the prophets. He's going to release the word of the Lord. Then we're going to release the prophets. We're going to go home to read all. But I can create and declare. So this ain't for you. This is for the person behind you. But I'm going to see if you shout for the person behind you. I can create and declare right here, right now. It's going to happen for you. Neighbor, neighbor, 
the Lord said, said you're going to eat because we don't want to come to gatherings in, like these and leave without anything. Right. Anytime God gathers prophets together and there's a prophetic release, that means that there is somebody who is ready to receive a seed. All right. All right. All right. Because the word of God is what? A seed that is planted in you. That means that anytime you come to the gathering like this, means your ground is ready to receive. Amen. But a lot of us, we come to gathering like this, but we have so much ground to break past till we, by the time we break past yes, that uh, hard ground, <laughs> you yeah. can't even receive the seed that God wanted to give you because we have so much guards up because it didn't happen the last time. But I promise you under the sound of my voice, the Lord told me to tell about 10 of y'all tonight that God said it's going to happen this time. Yeah. 
instructions. Amen. Which means, God, yes, God's going to send you a husband, but you got to stop being me.
drive them to the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess what, God? Ah. The prophetic that's coming tonight yeah. 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 is getting ready to not only shift you for a little while, but for many days. Yeah. Yeah.
fasting for you. God said he's literally removing, he's moving every stumbling block that was in your way and they try to stop you from getting things accomplished. God said because you have a line of work that is always, it's always like a spirit of overwhelm is coming to you. And it's so hard because you really feel the way you just signed it, but it's like you don't have any help to really do it. And it's not, it's like, God, I want to do it, but I just don't have help, and I'm only one person. But God said you can intensify your strength. And God also said, I'm going to send people to help do your vision that you have on the inside of you. God said, there's so much in you, but God said, you limit yourself thinking that you're not enough. But God said, you're more than enough. I was going to put you with the creative ability that you yeah, inside of you. Bullshit. And I didn't think you were worthy to carry out the vocation. It's not by happenstance that you dream a lot because everything that the Lord says that I've showed you in dreams, that's not you for other people. God said that's for you. And no longer share, step closer, come in. Get them over, because there's the elevation coming to you. No longer share, your, share things with people that don't really have a heart for you. Because it's not so much that you don't want to do, but it's the, it's, it's the thing that you trust people with your vision, you. but they don't really have the heart like you have for it. And, they, and sometimes they mis mismanage what God has given you. But God said there's a connecting coming upon you. There's a spirit of connection that's going to come upon you. When people, when the right people will be drawn to help you. I don't know what you do, woman of God, but I see you dressed up in two-piece suits and in heels. God, what you do? Your teacher, huh? Great. God, I see you dressed up, and I see I saw children around you, but I see children around you outside of the school. And God said He's going to give you programs to create for this area. And God said He's going to give you blueprints to create for this area. Not, and I see something that you already have, but God said He's getting ready to breathe upon that. And God said He's getting ready to raise you up. And I also see you outside, but I see you working with 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 uh, government officials. Says the Spirit of God. God said You're so smart. <laughs> But God said he's going to put every creative ability to work. And I see the Lord told me to tell you, I don't, I'm not saying that you sing, but the Lord, you do sing. God said, I'm giving you your song back. Yeah. I'm giving you your song back and not giving you no longer sing from a place of feeling oppressed. But God said, you're going to sing from a place of freedom. Because when you really sing from a place of freedom, there are people that come
of him because the Lord had been dealing with me about you uh, really since uh, the beginning while I was up leading intercession. Uh, this really wasn't your choice really to be here tonight. Uh, it really wasn't what you were planning to do, but the Lord said that he brought you here. As a matter of fact, I'll say like the Lord says that he dragged you here. He had to drag you here tonight and had to drag you here because there was a purpose in this house for you. There's some things that you've been having to deal with and some things that you've been literally suffering from over the last several seasons, over the last at least three and a half years. Come on and lift your hands. God said that God is breaking something off of you tonight. I hear, I hear, I hear word curses that have been spoken over your life. And I hear it even on your mother's side. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Word curses that have been spoken over your life. But we decree right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, it's breaking. We decree now in the name of Jesus. The Lord of the breakthrough over you right now. The spirit of the breath. The spirit of the breath. To break down every wall.
Sorry for how it hurt. Come on, breathe. Come on. I'm sorry. Come on. 